Hey guys, welcome back to GM Games. This is Out of the Park Baseball 22 with the Colorado Rockies. My name is Aaron, host of Around the World Sports. And before we get into the video, as always, I would just ask that you uh, drop uh, a like and subscribe here on GM Games, as well as follow their Discord. They got uh, a lot of, there's a lot of links there to other Let's Play type stuff. So if you like this, you'd probably like that. And then if you wouldn't mind, head over to my channel at Around the World Sports. Drop me a subscribe over there. Uh, I've got a Detroit Tigers playthrough going on over there, as well as a couple of football uh, playthroughs that I'm currently uh, doing. One with front uh, front office football eight and draft day sports pro football. So I got those going as well. Anyway, uh, it is the day after the winter meetings. Um, I am doing this video the day after I finished my live stream. Um, so it feels like I just finished, really. Uh, and between last night and today, I did make a deal. Uh, I was just sort of messing around with it today. And I don't normally make a lot of these deals offline, but uh, I was bored and I felt like doing it. So uh, we were able to move uh, Justin Dunn's contract to the St. Louis Cardinals. It did cost us some additional stuff, uh, but we moved Justin Dunn's contract to the Cardinals along with Angel Janow and Joseph Califut. We picked up Mason Wynn. So Dunn hadn't been terrible. Last year, he wasn't very good, uh, two and a half war, uh, but yeah, the peripherals are going in the wrong direction. His strikeouts are down, his whip is up, his ERA plus is down, um, and he's not, not that he's expensive. I mean, he's making 10.8 this year and next, but uh, I felt now was the time to move on from him. We have some players who are ready to come up and play in his place. We also gave up Angel Janow, who, um, you know, to be fair, we plucked him out of rookie ball in the Rule 5, and he hit 293 uh, as a 21-year-old. Uh, took a backslide last year, even though his slugging was up a bit. His OPS sitting at around 760 uh, with an OPS plus of under 100. So, I mean, he's been a below-average hitter. His fielding has been below average as well. And since we picked up Willie Castro and signed him to that monster contract at the end of the live stream, uh, we had a, uh, a place, or we, we, we didn't have a home for him. Um, and then we also traded Joseph Califut, who is, you know, a legend and out of the park 22 as being a pitcher who's actually a hitter. Uh, he had been in single A for the last five years. Uh, so we moved him to the Cardinals as well. And in exchange, we get Mason Wynn. Mason Wynn, they had him listed as a starter initially, but he's a bullpen arm. 97 to 99, really good stuff. Three great pitches, decent enough movement and control, but he's also a two-way player. If you look at his ratings, he's got a good enough offensive chops uh, with the bat. He's a good fielder and he's a good base runner. So he's really gonna make a perfect backup middle infielder. He's gonna back up at short and second uh, for us uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, can slide in if Arias gets hurt or we move Gabriel Arias, which is something I'm contemplating just because of his cost. He's making six million this year. He's gonna, he's asking for like eight and a half next year. So we may end up moving on from Gabriel Arias. There are a couple of players I'm looking at, a couple of young players I'm looking at to try to bring in at either short or uh, at a backup outfielder position because I'm not, talked about this again last episode, but I'm not that comfortable as only having, I mean, Joe Adele can play center field. I'm not concerned about that but I'd like to have a backup outfielder who can play all three positions. Pacheco is going to be a utility type guy along with Luke Lito. Uh, Wagner will likely be moved and I'd like somebody who can, you know, really get it done out in center field. So um, that's kind of what I'm looking for, for the rest of this episode. The rest, speaking of the rest of this episode, it's going to take us to the rule five up through uh, roster sets in spring training. We'll play opening day. And then depending on how long I've been going for, we may sim through, um, sim through April. Haven't quite decided yet. So that's pretty much where we are right now. Um, oops. I was looking at, I'll show you the outfielder I was looking at. The outfielder I was looking at was this guy right here, Doug Adams. Right now he's in double A with Oklahoma City. And you can see his bat's pretty good. It's not great. I mean, it's, I'd say it's an average to above average bat, but um, defensively and speed-wise, he would be the perfect backup outfielder right now. He's only 23 years old. Um, they want a combination of... Um, they want Isaac Pacheco and Chad Horn, and I'm not really ready to give up both of them for him. I'd be happy to give up one. Uh, Horn, I really like as a 
you know, depth style pitcher. His movement isn't great, but he's a ground ball pitcher who can reach 100. He's the one I'm more likely to move on from uh, just because we have so much starting pitchers, so many starting pitchers right now. Um, you know, even on our big league roster, we've got our starting five of Denny, Glasnow, Gaslight, or Patino. Jackson Bennett can start. Reed Detmers can start. Uh, Sademon Parker can start. Carter Smith can start. So that's four additional starters in my in my rotation um, that I've got that I can start. So that's what I'm looking to do. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to sim now up to the Rule 5. Uh, and if any trades get made between now and then, you know, we'll go over them at the Rule 5. And yeah, so I'll be back in just a second. All right, it is time for the Rule 5, so let's make sure we have everybody on the 40-man that we want on the 40-man so that we don't lose anybody. Um, I, I have a feeling... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I want to get... Okay, so what do we got here? A couple of two-star guys. Jackson Ferris still has some room for improvement. He's only... Tw yeah, he's only 22. I'm, gonna not, I'm not doing anything with him yet. Um... I think we might be good. There's nobody here that needs to go on the 40 man. Nobody here. Um, I could put Caratini on there if I wanted that third catcher. It probably wouldn't be bad to have a third catcher on the 40 man. So we'll do that. Um, but I think that's it. Yeah, the rest of these guys, I don't care if I lose them. All right, so let's get to the rule five. And we are picking 30th. Let's get down to us. And yep, I knew that, that was going to happen. I knew we were going to lose somebody. But that's fine. All right. So what do we got? We got Trey Fromm, who's not very good. Nick Clayton, who if he wasn't a fly ball pitcher, I might take a run at him. It would weaken San Diego's uh, pitching staff and make us better, but I don't need a fly ball pitcher. Oh, excuse me. Nathan Detmer. No. Usually don't find a lot of pitchers in the Rule 5. It's, it's the offense that you find Carson Applegate Could play shortstop I think he hit the ball pretty well hmm good defensively good speed and he would be another two way player that we could just sort of stick in the back of the but if we did that, we would have to – that's the issue, right, is that if we if we pick him up, someone's going to have to go away, and I don't know who that's going to be. So let's I, – I, I would probably take him over Wagner. So let's see what we get for uh, – let's, let's look at batting potential. So Chris B is perfect if he could field. Um, man, look, I may take him just for his – his offensive ratings. And he can be my just be my backup center fielder. Do we have anybody else? I might try to see if I can sneak through B and Applegate, but then I would just have to figure out what to do with them. But that's a later problem. That's not a today problem. See, I'm going to try that. I'm going to take Chris B. And I'm going to see if Carson Applegate slides down to me in the next round. He does. So I'm going to take them both. All right, cool. I want to complete the draft. All right, so we pick up a couple of young players, one from the Royals, one from the White Sox. Now, let's we're going to try to move some of this surplus. So we've got uh, prospects. Wagner and Freeland are two that I would move. Let's see what we can get in return. Will Childers. He's potentially a starter. He's not bad, though. Three good pitches. Good catcher. Second division starter. Unspectacular Diaz. Yeah, defense isn't very good. His defense was just a smidge better. Hunter Holland. Again, he's a borderline starter. So is Solamento. Chris 
Chris Hawes looks to be a pretty good bullpen piece. He came up earlier, I think, when I was uh, making some trades in the live stream. Matt Allen comes up. I don't need a. I don't I mean I don't need another catcher, but if I can get a shortstop or I can get a catcher prospect, like I would be okay with that. Excuse me again with the yawns. Austin Hansen. Wow. He's pretty good. He's 30, though. Jeff Massey. I mean, he could play anywhere on the infield. Very, very well at that. Chances are my scout would hate this. Let's just see. Yeah, I regret it if we make this deal. Can we get anything else? Can't I, I, this is the guy I really want, Doug Adams. Give me Doug Adams. I have a great sense of humor, huh? So they would take Negron... And I could get Adams in return. But I hate trading. I hate trading um, this type of prospect. Even, I mean, Adams, he's not going to be a starter. He's, he's behind three different players. So that doesn't make any sense. There was another player I was looking at with St. Louis. You would want Adele or Wesniak for Noah Smith. I'm not prepared to do that. What about Chad Horn? No, that just adds Ben Guess, which does me no good. Wow, okay. All right, so I think I will eventually end up moving Wagner, Freeland, and Hamill. It's just finding the right person to move him for. Um, I, oops, i got to shut that off. Sorry about that. Um... It's just a matter of finding the right player to move him for, where I don't feel like I'm getting completely hosed in the in the return. So, um, I can't. I mean, I can look at the trade block, but there's not really anything here that's better than what we have, and I don't want to give up. I don't want to give up prospects for somebody that we're not going to keep beyond this year. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time... What I'm going to do, I'm going to sim ahead up to the... Um, I guess the end of spring training. You know, maybe before that, if something happens, sim up to the end of spring training and see if I can figure out a package that works uh, for Freeland, Hamill, and Wagner and see if I can bring myself a good prospect back, maybe a catching prospect or... A shortstop who you know maybe is a little bit below average with the bat but elite with the glove I don't know I'm gonna work on it so another quick cut and I'll be back here in a minute all right guys we are back it is just before opening day um, yeah it's just before Ooh, well, that's not good um, all right well not gonna worry about it right now it's just before opening day uh, we went 20 and 10 during spring training uh, some of the things we did um, to try to improve, try to get some more flexibility. We put Luke Lito at first base, left field, and right field. It looks like he got a little bit of a uh, little bit of practice time, if you will, out in left and right. So his ratings suggest that he could be a passable outfielder in a pinch. Um, Isaac Pacheco, we got him some time at second, so now he can play. Second, third, short, left, and right. None of them particularly well, but all of them reasonably well. Um, we did make a trade. Actually, we played Mason Wynn at second base, so he got some playing time there. Try to improve those ratings as well. And we did make a one deal. Uh, let me find it. We're in February. So we traded... Uh, yeah, we traded... Four, four players? Yeah, four players to the Nationals for Sal Stewart. So Alex Freeland was the big piece going to the Nationals. 25 years old, just was going to be blocked, and 
I, I just didn't have a spot for him. In, you know, I'd been talking about trading him for like three years now. So we sent Freeland, uh, two-star, 20-year-old Jesus Linares. Uh, looks like he could potentially have some power, uh, probably a corner outfielder type. Uh, Jovan Gill, who's a 25-year-old two-way player. He's got some offensive ability. I mean, he's a below-average pitcher and hitter, but um, has some flexibility for them. And then Chris Taylor, the veteran who was in AAA for us all of last season. We sent those four players to the Washington Nationals, getting 23-year-old Sal Stewart in return. Stewart's a two-and-a-half star, four-star player. Uh, we got him some time at first and second during spring training. You can see he's got the ability. I mean, he's a third baseman primarily, but he has the ability to play second if we need him to. He's going to start in AAA, um, but I think we improve. Uh, we we upgrade from Freeland to Gill while getting younger and giving up pieces that we weren't going to use otherwise. So, uh, all right. So we have to, and Ben Gass is out for another two months. So, you know, he'll be back in June sometime. So we have to send some people down. We have 22 pitchers on our roster. Oof. Okay. So Spencer Miles, Lamelli, Kostyshock, Johnson, they can all go down. Kostyshock is, needs to be waived. That's fine. So that gets us down to 18, but that doesn't count Lito, who is a uh, technically considered a hitter. So that's 17. So we still have to send four players down to the minors. Uh, okay. So Duplantier, he's probably going to have to be waived. Yep, Duplantier has to be waived. Conine's probably going to have to be waived. Nope, Conine can go down. All right, so we're at 16. 15, so we got to send two more players down. One of them's going to be Thibaut Mercartier. He's out of options. He's still a four-and-a-half star pitcher. Does anybody want him? We can get some two-and-a-half star bats out of the deal. It'd be nice maybe to get another pitcher who has got some options remaining. He's a pretty good bat. Could be a nice backup, uh, another nice two-way player for us. Edwin Arroyo. All right, so let's keep. Let's remember that name. Who is it? He was with Seattle, I think. Yeah, Drew Gray. So let's see what we get when we look at pitchers. And then we'll go back to Seattle if there's nothing here that interests me. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. So far, nope. Max Miller? Nope. Not Drew Gray still listed because he's a pitcher. Right. So we'll go with Drew Gray. I don't think we would be worse off if we made this deal, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but I will see if I can get anything else just for the sake of just for the sake of doing it. Uh, let's look at his. What kind of pitcher is he? Extreme fly ball. Okay, well that's not going to work in uh, in cores. Um, Let's do this. Let's just look at prospects. Let's just look. Austin Kendrick is a pretty nice power bat. Very good defensively. Colby Mayo. I mean, I feel like I have to pull the trigger here on something because I don't feel like... Um, if I try to put him through waivers, he's not going to clear. So I feel like I have to do something. Kyrie Reed, no. Um. Hmm. 
And what's bad about this is I still have to send down another player after I do this. So we're not even done sending pitchers down yet. Kevin Arroyo, no. Peralta. It's not a bad backup infielder. Andrew Patrick, we traded him to uh, Tampa Bay back in 2024. Was that part of the... Um, was that part of the uh, Glasnow deal? Is that what that was? No, it was for Diego Castillo. Well, that trade didn't work out. Okay. <laughs> uh, scouting. Eh. Meh. Jose Bonilla. Yeah, it's just nothing any good. Crap. Okay. All right. So we still have to send two players down. I think one of them's going to be Jackson Bennett. That movement's gotten worse. So we have to send one more pitcher down. I mean, Mercartier is the one who makes the most sense. Although I could send Carter Smith down, although he was really, all of my pitchers were really good in spring training. I'm at a difficult time figuring out who to put in the rotation. I mean, look at those numbers. I mean, that's fantastic. Uh, who didn't pitch well? Tyler Johnson, but it was only eight innings. Applegate, but I need to keep him because he is a Rule 5 guy, and I'd like to develop that some. Medina, no, I want to keep Adonis. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Who can go down? Do we send Parker? I think we send Parker down for now. Ugh, okay. All right. So our starting rotation will line up like this. Uh, Patino's going to be our number one yet again. Or not Patino, Glasnow is going to be our number one. Then Lighter, then Patino, then Denny, then Smith. Uh, 100 pitches, 100 pitches, no pitch count for the other three. Uh, Denny, let's set his... Uh, game strategy, uh, aggressive hook, batters faced, 20, 24 works. Um, and then we're going to go with Foley as the closer. Hicks will be one of our setup men. I think Detmers deserves to be our other setup man just based on how he's pitched, but Wynn is really good. So we're going to give Wynn that opportunity. I'm good with Detmers being used more often there. And then we've got four so we will use him avoid high leverage there avoid light high leverage there so we're gonna run with mccartier medina as our two main long guys Lido and applegate as our emergency type guys and we're gonna run with that so we're gonna be going with tyler glass now yet again all right so where are we we have 29 we're gonna send three players down caratini will be one Najiba, they're going to make me put him on the DL because he's hurt, or the IL, rather. Caratini and Elijah Hamill. Cool. So there are our, blah, 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 blah. There are our 26. Let's set our lineup. Okay, so a batting leadoff for us will be whom? It's got to be Willie Castro with the 82 contact. And I'm a little concerned because his other ratings have started to drop here a little bit, and his contract hasn't even started yet. So uh, hopefully his defense can continue to carry him here for a while. But he'll bat leadoff. Wesniak will be in the two-hole. Jose Ramirez will be in the three-hole. Zach Veen will bat fourth. Joe Adele will bat fifth. So we need shortstop, center field, and catcher. Um, who is...
is better against righties. We're going to go Drew Jones batting sixth, Dromo batting seventh, Gabriel Arias batting eighth. Let's see what it does with our backup. So we'll put Stewart in there. Um, Pacheco, Adele, Lito out and right. Okay, sure. Pacheco at short, second, and uh, let's see. Pacheco's not very good at short, is he? No, but I probably couldn't hurt to get him some playing time there once a week. Stewart will start every 10th game. He'll start every 10th game at second. Uh, he'll start, what, every, se every sixth game out and left. That works. Chris B will be the backup. Very, very solid bat against uh, against lefties. He won't play much against righties, but or against lefties. He's got uh, really good against against. Right. Uh, let's start that over, shall we? He'll start. And he'll be a very good bat against righties. Not very good against lefties. So we will copy that and we will paste the left-handed lineup. Do we want to make any changes? I think we move Veen down the order against lefties and move Adele up. I think we flip flop. And how is Jones against lefties? Not bad. What about Romo? Not as good. So we'll do something like that against lefties. Uh, Stewart, first, second, and third. Gee, but I think he can hit lefties. Yeah, I mean, he's really good against lefties. Castro, we're going to have to move out of the leadoff spot against lefties. I don't think he makes sense there, but who does? Do we go Wesniak in the leadoff spot? Sure, we'll go Wesniak in the leadoff spot against lefties. That should be fun. I mean, he's just stupid good. Uh, all right, we'll copy that lineup against lefties. Paste lineup. We'll get Sal Stewart out there as the designated hitter. Move him up the lineup, bat him fifth. In fact, I think against the desig in the American League, we're going to put Stewart at third and put Ramirez as the DH. And then against righties, paste the lineup. We will put Pacheco in at the, as the designated hitter. Move him up a bunch. In fact, I think we're going to bat him there go like that because against righties I mean that those are some solid numbers all right let's generate the depth chart yeah and Lido every third game that works for me actually we'll probably go every second game I just I, Lido's not I mean his his offensively he's elite I, I to the point where, you know, do we make a move with Wesniak once he starts asking for a ton of money? Do we just stick Leto in at first base? We'll see how he does this year in a, in a backup role, uh, but that could be the move starting next season. Let's get up to opening day, and we'll play opening day. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it's good spring training. I mean, I'll take 20 and 10. Um, but again, we've got, you know, the 109 win Dodgers and the 108 win Padres, or 110 win Dodgers, 109 win Padres, or whatever it was. All right. So he only expects us to play better than 500 ball. Player development. Win got a little better. Anybody of note get worse? Yeah, lighter. It looks like he stalled. Okay. A lot of our pitchers didn't get better. Denny is getting better. Yeah, Lito's Lito's a monster, man. Uh, Wesniak, yeah, Wesniak's a monster too. Sal Stewart got better. Bean got worse. Pacheco got worse. Jones got better and worse. Parker got better, but he'll start in AAA. He's not going to like that very much, but, you know, what are you going to do? Top 100 prospects. We've got Jim Denny is at number eight. 
Uh, minor league systems, we are down to seventh because we only have three in the top 100 now. And Denny and Pacheco are both going to fall out this year, so all we have left is Negron. Uh, preseason predictions have us going 95 and 67. We got Wesniak there, Ramirez there. Pitching wise, we got nobody. Uh, did the Dodgers replace Gavin Lux? Not really. They replaced him with this guy, Michael Bush. Um, I mean, they still got the pitching to get it done. Do I think they're going to win 109 games again this year? No. I mean, Mookie is starting to slip with the bat. Uh, San Diego, though, is still loaded. Keller, Haynes, Gore, Yamaoka, and Ryan Weathers is their rotation. Um, no, I don't know. I mean, the rotation's not bad. Uh, I mean, Keller's elite, but the rest isn't any better than what we have. So I think we got a shot at this. I think we got a shot at this. And I really, I've been trying to get Victor Acosta <laughs> from San Diego. I don't think it's going to work. Uh, but I've been trying and trying and trying to get him uh, to make him our starting shortstop. But they're not having it. So, oh, well. All right, so we're taking on San Francisco. Let's take a look at San Francisco. See if we can win a game here. San Francisco. All right, so they are led by Francisco Lindor, who's making 40-something millionaire, $46.5 million a year. He's coming off a three-win season where he was injured most of the year. Uh, Marco Luciano, Joey Bart, and Elijah Green, who is a uh, staple of our, ti of our Tigers playthrough. We're going to be starting Gregory Santos, who's not bad. It's not great, but he's not bad. All right, well, let's save and let's play this game. Let's see if we can go 1-0. and Okay, play game. All right, so they're going to be going Marcus Chu, batting leadoff, playing second. Luis Torribio. Torri 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 Playing second, or batting second, playing first. Lindor batting third, playing short. Hunter Bishop in the cleanup spot, playing right field. Luciano in the five spot, batting fifth, playing third. Joey Bart behind the dish, catching. Jemai Jones batting seventh, playing left. Elijah Green in center field, batting eighth. And Gregory Santos will get the start. For us, it's Castro at second. Wesniak at first. Ramirez batting third, playing third. Veen in the cleanup hole for Joey Gallo for the first time in five years. Uh, we have a new uh, starting cleanup hitter on opening day, Zach Bean. Joe Adele batting fifth, playing right. Drew Jones in center, batting sixth. Drew Romo batting seventh, doing the catching. Gabriel Arias batting eighth. And Tyler Glasnow once again gets the opening day start for the Rockies. So let's see how this one goes as we are at home taking on the San Francisco Giants. Chu pops that one out to the shortstop. One up, one down. Uh, he is a pull hitter. We're going to shift to the right. One two pitch from Glasnow. Grounded, picked up there by Drew Romo. And he goes, he's put out two to three. And Lindor now. Oh, uh, Lindor's going to swing at the first pitch. It's a fly ball out to left. And we get a one, two, three inning out of Glasnow here in the top of the first. Castro, with his first plate appearance as Colorado Rocky, gets a base hit. So that works. Willie Castro, one for one as a Rocky. Wesniak now, one-two pitch. Pops up on the infield. Catch is going to be made by the catcher. One down. Jose Ramirez. Grounded to first. Three, six. And Ramirez beats the relay throw. Zach Veen hits a fly ball out to left, and the catch is made out there. Nice sliding catch. Hunter Bishop now is a pull hitter. I'd like an easy game. I haven't. I don't think I've played an easy game yet. Every game I've played, ah, I didn't look to see if he's a... It doesn't matter. He hit it out to right center field. I haven't played an easy game yet. Every game I've played has gone down to the wire, or and that's a one-out triple for Luciano. All right, so Joey Bart steps in now. Can we get a strikeout to cut that runner down? We get a pop-up on the infield, so that should keep him there. 
And now Jamai Jones, runner on third, two outs, and he's going to fly out. So we get out of the inning. Yeah, I haven't had an easy game yet. I think every game I've played has been, like, down to the wire. Adele, Jones, and Romo here in the second. Adele swings through that one. Throw has to be made. Two to three put out. Drew Jones now. Grounded to third. Up and out. And Drew Romo now. Strike three. So two, so two scoreless innings from both pitchers. Elijah Green making his first major league plate appearance. 2-2 two, two pitch. Is hit out to left. And it's going to get down for a base hit. Of course. Uh, so uh, b -b 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 corners in. Green steals second. 2-2 two, two pitch, strike three. All right, so runner on second, one out. Chu is up, 1-1 one, one pitch. And he's hit by the pitch. So the Giants have runners on first and second. Let's put the infield at double play depth. Let's see if we can get a ground ball. Five over to four, on to three. Twin killing double play. So three scoreless innings so far for Glasnow. We go to the bottom of the third. Arias leads up, leads out, leads up. Off? Yeah, leads off. <laughs> he gets a base hit. So lead off single. We are going to... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, we are going to bunt. Bunt laid down by Glasnow. Nice bunt by Tyler Glasnow. Gets Arias down to second. Castro steps in and he walks. So we have runners on first and second with one out for Wesniak. And that's a ball, so the bases are now loaded for Jose Ramirez. And he strikes out. Damn. Come on, Zach. 2-0 pitch to Veen is aligned into left field for a base hit. Around comes Arias. We are going to send to Castro. And he will beat the throw. So a two-run single for Zach Veen in the third. Gives us a 2-0 lead. Joe Adele now. Hits that one down to first, and he is going to beat Adele to the bags. But we pick up a couple. We're up 2-0. Francisco Lindor, full count pitch to him. And that one's gone. Way out of here. It's 2-1. Hunter Bishop. 1-2 pitch to him. That one's popped up. Catch is going to be made by the shortstop, Arias. One down. Luciano now. He tripled last time up. Pops up to the catcher here. Drew Romo looks like he's going to settle under that one. Nope, the catch is made by the third baseman, actually. Joey Bart now. Two, on, two out, nobody on. And he strikes out swinging. So it's two to one after three and a half. Drew Jones stepping in now. Grounds that one into the hole. And he is out. One up, one down. Drew Romo. Back up the middle for a base hit. So first hit of the year for our catcher, Arias now. Hits that one to left, and that's going to be a single. So first and second with one out. Uh, we're going to bunt with Glasnow again. Back to Thill. That's a terrible bunt as he hits into a double play. All right. So we go to the fifth. Jones, Green, and Santos against Glasnow. He's gone four innings, three hits, one run, struck out three. Ground ball to third. Down the line. It's going to be extra bases here for the leadoff hitter, Jamai Jones. A double. Shift left against Elijah Green. And he gets another hit. So Green's two for two. This major league thing is easy for him. And we're tied at two. Strike three to Santos. Chu now. 3-1 pitch. It's ball four. Infield at double play depth. Strike three. And now we got to face Lindor with two on and two out. And he gets a hit. And it gets away from the left fielder. And two runs are going to... Oh, one run's going to score. Damn. All right, so we're now losing. Hunter Bishop, shift right. Can we get through the inning? 
pop up on the infield. So we're down now three to two. See what I mean? Like everything seems to be like, and I think that's going to be it this inning for Glasnow. He's thrown 88 pitches. Uh, we will get Reed Detmers up. We go to the top of the order. Castro, Wesniak, and Ramirez. Another hit for Willie Castro. He's 3-4-3 three, three now. I'd like a two-run home run right here. Did I get one? I think I did. <laughs> there we go. Two-run home run. Sam Wesniak, and we take a 4-3 lead. I'd like back-to-back -back home runs. Will it work again? Let's see. Maybe. No, nope, that one's going to be caught out there in right field. No, it's not. It's going to get down for extra bases. That's a double for Jose Ramirez. That brings up Zach Veen, who had a two-run single his last time. And he lines that one into right field for a base hit. And around third to score comes Ramirez. And Zach Veen has three RBIs here on opening day. Joe Adele now. Strike three. They're sticking with Santos. Here comes Drew Jones. Jones hits that one out to right. Catch, I think, is going to be made out there. It is. So we're up 5-3, two outs, bottom of the fifth, and Drew Romo steps up now. Full count pitch to him in the dirt. Arias comes up now. Smashes that one to center field. That's not going to be a home run, but that's going to score a pair, I think. As Arias chugs around second, he's going to go to third on the throw, and we are up 7-3. to three. And we are going to pinch hit here. They're sticking with Santos. This is nuts. All right. Uh, we're going to bring up Isaac Pacheco is going to get a chance to pinch hit here for Tyler Glasnow. And they switch. They finally bring in a relief pitcher, Andrew Lee. Pacheco pops that one up, and that will retire the side. But we score five, and we're up seven to three. All right, so Detmers will come in in the sixth. Luciano had a triple his first time up. Strikes out swinging there. Here comes Joey Bart. 1-0 pitch to their catcher. Grounded to third. Down the third baseline. It's going to be another double down the third baseline. Joey Bart, a one-out double. Seventh hit of the game for the Giants. Here comes Jamai Jones, who doubled last time. Strikes out looking this time. And here is Elijah Green, who's 2-4-2 two, two in this one. So we shift left. Grounds that one on the infield. And he is finally retired. So 1-2-3 inning for Detmers. We go to the bottom of the sixth. We're up by four. Castro's 3-3. Three three. Strikes out swinging this time. Here comes Wesniak, who homered last time up. It's a fly ball out to right. Looks like it's going to be two up, two down. And Jose Ramirez now. Grounded to first. No, that one's going to get down the third, down the first baseline. It's going to be an extra base hit for Jose Ramirez. A two-out double. Here comes Zach Veen, who's got three runs knocked in in this game. Make it four as that gets down. And, yeah, we're going we're gonna to send Ramirez here. We're up by five. And he is safe. As that's four RBIs for Zach Veen on opening day. Joe Adele now looking to get into the fun. Smashes that one to left, and the catch is made. So we extend the lead. We're up 8-3. to three. Top of the order, or bottom of the order, it looks like. And that's a, is that a pinch hit home run? It certainly is. Pinch hit home run by Will Wilson, and it's 8-4. to four. All right, here comes Chu. 1-2 pitch to him. Strike three. Lefty on lefty. We're going to shift right. 0-1 pitch to their first baseman. Hit out to center field. And Jones makes the catch way out in center field. Francisco Lindor, 0-2 pitch to Frankie. Hit out to right. And that's going to be the end of the inning. So they get a run back. It's 8-4 to four as we head to the seventh inning stretch. Uh, we are going to bring in... Or who are we going to warm up for the... Uh, eighth inning, Hicks. Jordan Hicks. And we have Jones, Romo, and Arias up this inning. Here comes Drew Jones against a new pitcher, Noboru Shimaizu. And that's going to be a base hit for Drew Jones. I'm going to 
gonna try to steal second. And he's out. He got picked off. Damn it. Okay, Drew Romo steps up now. Hits a fly ball out to left. Catch is gonna be made out there. That'll be the second out of the inning. And here comes Arias. Got a two-run double last time up. He walks this time. We are going to pinch hit, and we are going to bring in Luke Lito against the right-hander. 2-2 pitch to Lito. Strike three. All right, so we go to the eighth. Jordan Hicks will come in for Reed Detmers. No face Bishop, Luciano, and Bart. I'm going to shift right. 3-2 pitch. Strike three. Here comes Luciano. 3-2 pitch to him. Strike three. 99 on that one. And Joey Bart. Can we get the side? Yes. That's exactly what we wanted Jordan Hicks for. Comes in in the eighth and strikes out the side. Uh, we are going to get Tyler Johnson up and Foley just in case. Castro's got three hits in his debut. Three for six. Wesniak homered earlier in the five-run fifth. Hits that one deep into the hole. Long throw to first for the out. And Ramirez with a couple of hits in this one. And he lines that one the opposite way. I think that's going to be three doubles for Jose Ramirez on opening day. It is a two-out double. Four RBIs for Zach Veen as he steps in looking for his fifth RBI of the game as he strikes out swinging. All right, so we're going to go to the ninth. And we're going to bring in Tyler Johnson. Foley is ready in case San Francisco gets any funny ideas. Johnson pitches to Jones. Strike three. Elijah Green, two, four, three. We're going to shift left. Ball four. They bring in McLean. One, one pitch to him. That one's hit out to center field. Catch is going to be made by Drew Jones. Two down, and Chu is their last hope. He hits that one out to center field, and it looks like this is going to be an opening day winner for the Colorado Rockies as we finally win, I don't want to say an easy one, but an easier one by the final score of 8-4. to four. So for the Giants, Chu went 0-3 for 3 with a walk and a strikeout. Torrey Bio 0-4 for 4 with a strikeout. Lindor, 2-4 for 4 with a home run, two runs knocked in. Bishop 0 for 4, 2 strikeouts. Luciano 1 for 4, 2 strikeouts. Bart 1 for 4, 2 strikeouts. Jones 1 for 4 with a run scored and 2 strikeouts. Elijah Green in his big league debut 2 for 3 with a run scored and an RBI. Santos batted twice, struck out twice. Wilson, Will Wilson hit a pinch hit home run in this one. McLean uh, left a man on base in the ninth. Santos went four and two-thirds innings, gave up 10 hits, seven runs, walked three, struck out four through 91 pitches. Lee pitched an inning and a third, giving up a run. Shimizu went an inning and two-thirds, giving up two hits and a walk, but didn't allow a run. And Urquidy pitched a third of an inning, striking out Luke Lito for us. Willie Castro, two for four, two runs scored, batting leadoff. Sam Wesniak homered, drove in a pair. Jose Ramirez, three for five with three doubles on opening day. Zach Veen, three for five with four runs knocked in. Joe Adele was the only member of the starting lineup not to get a hit. 0 for four. Drew Jones, one for four. He got caught stealing. Drew Romo, one for three. Gabriel Arias took all of that, all of that, uh, that trade talk in in the off season and went three for three with two runs knocked in. Uh, pitching wise, Glasnow with the first five gave up six, two runs, three runs, two of them earned walk, one struck out five. Detmers gave up a home run in two innings, but struck out three. Hicks struck out the side in his one inning of work, and Johnson struck out a batter in his one inning of work. We struck out 12 San Francisco Giants on opening day. So there you have it. So uh, we win on opening day. We go to one and O. Oh. Uh, and I think that's going to do it for this episode. We get Ben Guest back in about two and a half weeks, two and three quarters weeks. Um, I'll probably spend some time fiddling around with my minor leagues and moving people around and stuff. You guys don't need to see any of that. Uh, you can see we only have 22 players on our AAA roster, so we're going to have to move some people around. Um, I can't do anything with those guys yet. Um yeah, so next time when we come back, we'll get through April and uh, May. 
or at the bare minimum April, maybe April and May. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how. See, actually, the next video will be the live stream. It'll be on Sunday, so it'll be April, May. We'll probably try to get up to the trade deadline. That's kind of the plan, I think. See if we can get up to the trade deadline on Sunday. Uh, we'll do a nice long three-hour stream Sunday night uh, and see if we can get up to the trade deadline here in year number seven with the Colorado Rockies. Guys, once again, uh, drop the GM Games channel a like and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and follow their Discord channel as well. If you wouldn't mind heading over to my channel, Around the World Sports, dropping me a subscribe over there. I'd appreciate it. I'll talk to everybody on Sunday night. Bye-bye.